Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I've got some great information for you Zombies fans out there. And if you haven't already guessed it by the title of this video, yes, there is a campaign devoted to zombies. Now, it's not technically devoted, it's actually whenever you beat the main campaign, you get to kind of replay it in zombies mode. And I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Because, I mean, a campaign is a story, and that's what it is. It's telling a story. It's like watching a movie, except you're the main character. Or, in this case, you're one of the four main characters. So, I'm not too sure how they're going to do this. Like, they can't just replace enemies and make it still have the same story. So, what I'm kind of thinking is maybe, like, it's a little bit more dark, it's a little bit more ran down. But, then again, that's them creating a brand new campaign, like, over again. And that's, oh, it's just insane. What's coming with Black Ops 3? Like, I'm so excited, you know? I've just, every single day that it gets closer, I find something new about the game that I did not already know. So, as you guys know, I was able to get the Juggernaut Edition. It wasn't until yesterday that I made that video for you guys that came out. Well, actually, it was two days ago that I made the video yesterday that it actually had the season pass. Like, what? It, it was just like a shell dropped on me. I had no idea. Honestly, I didn't look too much up about it because I didn't even think I was going to get it. I didn't want to get hyped, but then I found out. I'm like, wow. So let's just look at the game. Let's talk about what you get if you play this game on Next Generation and Last Gen people, the 360 and PS3 crew. I'm sorry. This game is its looking pretty bad to you guys, and you're probably some of the negative reviews on the game, but don't be like that. Just save up your money, get you a next gen, so you can have fun, because trust me, this is going to be the best Call of Duty we have ever played before. So... And, you know, it's it's hard to say that, and a lot of people say that before they play. They're, like, watching all the videos, they're like, oh, man, this COD's going to be amazing, it's going to be the best one. Trust me, for the past four or five years, every single time a Call of Duty is about to come out, that's exactly what I heard. But this year, we have some proof that it's gonna I mean we got to play the multiplayer and honestly I heard no negative review about the multiplayer if anything people loved it so let's tell let, let me tell you what you get whenever you get this game so first off we're just gonna go over the bear you get a campaign that's co-op you get zombies mode which is a huge map it is it is like maybe double or triple the size of transit and you get the best multiplayer that I've played in a while and that's just from the beta and you know the beta is just a little bit of what you're gonna get I cannot wait to play the full game next up you're getting a zombies campaign which is also co-op this game it was made for you to play with your friends and have fun that's what they're looking at and not even that like Let's go into multiplayer. Let's talk about what you're getting in multiplayer. You're getting amazing maps. You're getting a Nuketown remake that just looks phenomenal, guys. Let's be real. It looks phenomenal. They're also bringing back supply crates or supply drops, but it's not going to be like Advanced Warfare. And that excites me. It's just going to be visual things. It's like... Let's say an extended clip could look like um, a drum mag. It could look like a really long curled magazine. It could look like jewels all over. You know, it, it could be anything. There's endless possibilities. And because of this, I don't think they're going to put micro DLC. I think it's because that's that's been the complaint. I think it's only going to be earned through game. You know, it's called the black market. And black market sounds kind of shady. So I'm thinking like... COD points are going to be added back into the game because that's something that everyone has wanted since Black Ops 1. It's like they want a betting system. They want all this kinds of thing. And it's already so much involved with the community that, you know, you can share your emblems. You can share your gun skins. Honestly, I think you're going to be able to trade points or trade gun like if you have a drum mag and someone else has like a diamond encrusted magazine and you want to switch they're like oh man i want that drum drum mag and i want that diamond magazine you're gonna be able to trade i'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there you know it's not set in stone but it, it's looking that way and zombies don't even get me started on zombies it looks amazing plus you're getting Darice and you're getting the Dead Ops Arcade 2, which I haven't seen any gameplay of. I'm not too sure. Maybe they're going to update on midnight release or very soon. And some more feature features are going to be added to the game, hopefully. And, you know, back to multiplayer, we are getting parkour. And that could go... It, it could be so in-depth by midway through the game 
that it is a game of its own. Like, if you see people that play Counter-Strike, there's basically three ways to play. Well, I mean, there's more than that, but the three main ones are multiplayer, where you just go up and you're fighting each other. Second is the camo system. Actually, the crates. That's it. The supply drop, supply drop openings, whatever that is. People really, they get involved in the market. And third is surfing. If you don't know about surfing, it's really hard. It's hard to get into, and but once you get it, it's kind of easy. I tried to get into it, and I was not that good at it at all. But from that, I mean, this game is turning into the game that is pretty much going to never let us down. Like, if this is the last Call of Duty that ever came out... I'm pretty sure we would be happy. I mean, I know it would be a day. It would be it would be so bad, honestly. It would just be heart tearing that this would be the last COD. But it's not, guys. It's not. So, I mean, I'm just saying it, it's there. You know, we we have this, and we can we can just learn from that. Like this game is gonna change Call of Duty forever. This is it. If this becomes the standard. Of Call of Duty where it's so action-packed three years are up you know everything's working together we have a very successful COD coming to our future like think about three years for every single producer of the game insane like I, I don't know tell me what you guys think I'm so hyped for this new zombies mode or zombies campaign I'm hyped for the campaign I'm hyped for zombies multiplayer honestly there's so much of and I'm getting the juggernaut edition this is gonna be my favorite game I can already tell you like the multiplayer that I played was so good I'm I'm having like an anxiety attack because I don't know what I want to play I want to play zombies but then again I want to play multiplayer but then again I want to play that co-op campaign and unlock zombies campaign then I'm gonna want to play zombies campaign so let me go let me know what you think down in the comment section be real you know tell me what you think hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I will see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary peace